So now let us try to solve example 5. It says find the volume of the solid that is obtained when the region in the first quadrant bounded by y equal to x square y equal to x square y axis and the line y equal to 10 is revolved about y axis. So let me first draw the graph. This is our x axis, this is y axis and y equal to x square is this graph. This is our y equal to x square graph. And y axis is this one and the line y equal to 10. Let's say y equal to 10 is here y equal 10. So this is the region. If you revolve this region about y axis, about y axis, then you will get a solid material like this. Now if you take a cross section here, then this cross section will be perpendicular to the y-axis. So our formula in this case will be integrating with respect to y, y equal to c, y equal to d, pi, f, y, square, dy. And the radius of this cross section is x. So from here we can write x equal root y since our region is the positive part so x, x equal to root y uh, the positive sign we considered here x equal to root y so this equal our y started here y equal to 0 and end at y equal to 10 so y equal to 0 y equal to 10 pi and root y is our radius whole square dy which is equal pi integration of 0 to 10 y dy which is equal integration of y y square by 2 0 to 10 pi this equal pi 10 square by 2 so 10 square means 100 100 minus 0 by 2 which is equal 50 pi and this is our answer this is the volume of this solid material and how about example 6 it says find the volume of the solid that is obtained when the region bounded by y equal to 3 minus 2x y equal to 2 in the first quadrant and revolve about y axis. So let us try to sketch the first one. It's a straight line since it is a linear equation. So we can graph it by writing 2x plus y equal to 3. This implies x by 3 by 2 plus y by 3 equal to 1. So it means this is our x-intercept and this one is our y-intercept. So now we can easily graph it. So our x-intercept 1.5, so 1 is here, if 2 is here, then 1.5 is this point, and y-intercept 3, so 1, 2, 3. So this is our another point, now we can easily sketch it. We can easily sketch this line.
So this is our line y equal 3 minus 2x <coughs> and another one y equal to 2. So y equal to 2 is this line, this line y equal to 2. In the first quadrant means this is the region, plane region we want to revolve. So if you revolve this region about y axis, about y axis, then you will get a solid, you will get a solid material like this. So the question is, what is how what is the volume of this solid? That what we want to know. So here the cross section. If you take a cross section here, then it will perpendicular to the y-axis. So our formula will be the second one. So here y start at zero y start at 0 and end at 2 0 to 2 pi let me write it here and fy is x this is the radius which is nothing but x from this equation so from this equation x equal 3 minus y divided by 2 so 3 minus y divided by 2 is our radius, radius square dy. So this one I can write pi by 4, 2 square equal 4 and 3 minus y whole square equal 9 minus 6y plus y square 0 to 2 dy. So integration of 9, 9y plus integration of 6y 6 y square by 2 so let me write 3 y square it should be minus here plus y 3 by 3 0 to 2 y by 4 this equal y by 4 if you replace 2 here then you will get 18 minus 12 plus 8 by 3 8 by 3 which is equal pi by 4 18 minus 12 then it is 6 plus 8 by 3 2 and 13 so it should be 13 pi by 6 so this is the volume of this solid material. So now let us try to understand example 7 and it says find the volume of the solid that is obtained when the region bounded by these three curves is revolved about y axis about y axis. So let me first draw the graph. This is our x axis, this one is our y axis. So x equal root 1 plus y square. As we know, uh, if x equal root 1 plus y, is, that implies x square equal 1 plus y. This implies y equal to x square minus 1. So y, y equal to x square is this curve and y, square, y equal to x square minus 1 will be this one. So this is our curve, this one, y equal to x square minus 1. But since our x is positive, so let, let us forget this one, we should draw only this one. So it will pass us through negative 1. And this is our curve, which is y equal, sorry, x equal root 1 plus 
y and another one y axis means this axis and y equal to 3 1 2 3 is here so this one is x equal root 1 plus y this one y equal to 3 and this one is y axis so if you revolve this region about y axis then you will get a solid material which will look like this which will look like this and if you take a cross section here then it will be perpendicular to the y axis so our formula will be y equal c y equal d phi f y square d y and here our lower limit here y equal negative 1 and upper limit 3 so minus 1 to 3 phi I can write outside of this integral sign and f y equal to x which is this root 1 plus y whole square dy so this equal pi 1 plus y dy minus 1 to 3 so now we can easily integrate 1 which is y plus y square by 2 negative 1 to 3 pi so if you put upper limit you will get 3 plus 9 by 2 minus lower limit minus 1 plus 1 half so this equal 15 by 2 minus minus 1 half so it should be plus half which is equal 16 pi by 2 and which is equal 8 pi so the volume of this solid material is 8 pi this is the answer and now let us try to understand example 8 but example 8 is a bit different what we discuss up to now because because this one is related to uh, to the revolving if you revolve around a line around a line not axis that is not an axis then how can we calculate its volume so let's try to graph the, this one first find the volume of the solid that is obtained when the region bounded by fx equal 6 minus x square and gx equal 2 so these two curves uh, the, the required region the region we want to revolve is bounded by these two curves so let us sketch the graph first So fx equal 6 minus x square. We know y equal or fx equal minus x square is a parabola which is open, open down, but vertex at the origin. But if you add 6, this curve is y equal to minus x square. Now, now if you add 6 with this one, you need your vertex this vertex will shift to the to this point 1 2 3 4 5 6 so the vertex will shift here so this one will be our required curve y equals 6 minus x square so let me put it here 1 2 3 4 5 6 so this is our parabola which is open down and vertex at 0 6 
and another curve y equal to 2 which is this one 1 2 y or zx equal to zx equal to and this curve fx equal 6 minus x square so now if you revolve uh, this region about the line y equal to 2 it means about this line if you revolve about this line this region if you revolve about this line then you will get a solid material and the cross section about if you revolve this line then this one will be cross section and the cross section will be perpendicular to the x axis therefore our formula will be the second one and the first one x equal a to x equal b y fx let me write it here radius radius square dx and radius should be function of x so here what is the radius if you revolve this region then this distance is the radius so how can we calculate this distance if you subtract the lower y at here from y at here then you will get the radius so at this point y is 6 minus x square so radius equal 6 minus x square minus at this point y is 2 minus 2 this equal 4 minus x square uh, let me calculate the point of intersection of this point and this point so to do that we need to equal these two curve it is it means 6 minus x square equal 2 which implies 6 minus 2 equal x square x square equal to 4 therefore x equal plus minus 2 so this point will be minus 2 2 and this one will be 2 2 so at this point x equal at this point x equal negative 2 and at this point x equal 2 so the lower limit will be negative 2 to 2 pi and radius 4 minus x square whole square dx this equal minus 2 to 2 if you square it you will get 16 minus 8 x square plus x to the power 4 dx which is equal 16 uh, integration of 16 16 x minus 8 x cube by 3 plus x to the power 5 by 5 negative 2 to 2 so you can easily uh, calculate this result by yourself I put the answer here the answer will be 512 pi divided by 15 so this is the result of the given solid material so that's the end of this lecture and please don't miss the next one because it will be on method of washers and thanks for watching and sharing hope to see you in the next lecture thank you very much